Hassan, it's Dwight. Uh, just wondering how difficult the decision was for you to go to Orlando. Oh, it wasn't difficult for me because uh, I just know I just know it had to happen. You know, um, I wanted to be here for the team and just and just finish the season outright. You know, so it wasn't a difficult season to me. I'm used to facing adversity. You know, um, I played I played everywhere. I played overseas. I played in a Y. I mean, I played in the G League, and I play everywhere. How do you expect your playing time to be affected by Nurkic being back now? I don't know. I don't know. I ain't really thought too much in it. Uh, me and Nurk been playing a lot on the court, and uh, me, Zach, it been me and Nurk out there. So, I mean, I, I ain't really think that much into it. You know, I'm just, I'm just excited that, uh, that new guy's back. You know, we got a lot more size down there. We switched up the defense a lot. And um, I told him it's a lot different down there, man. I got to actually pump fake in practice. <laughs> uh, uh, Hassan, this is Eric here. I just wanted to ask you, you know, with, with being out there and with the new guys, how happy are you to not be kind of basically the only big guy <laughs> on this team? <laughs> Oh, man, it's a, it's a relief, man. You know, it's good, though. It's good to have um, them guys back there because I know to, to have that back that backup, that help, you know, I always got that help out there. So um, it, it breeds confidence. It breeds confidence as you as a defender. I could be a lot more aggressive in the pick and rolls. And, um, you know, it just, it just changed the, the defense of the team, I think. Uh, Hassan, you talked about switching the pick and rolls. So when you talk about switching, do you guys, are you guys pressing up more on the ball handlers? Is that something you guys are practicing a little bit more? Yeah, yeah, a lot more, you know, because um, we got a lot more rim protection behind me. You know, I'm not, I'm not the only shot blocker out there. So um, the paint the pain can be locked down a lot more. Hi, Hassan, Casey Holdall here. Uh, I'm curious, just your initial thoughts. On uh, on the bubble, um, I've noticed you've been posting quite a bit on social from from your room, utilizing some of the filters that Dizzy's made available. Uh, just your general thoughts on on how that's that's worked for you as an individual so far. I mean, you know, it's it, you know, I've just been trying to make the best of it. You know, I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty, watching a lot of film. You know, I just sit in my room and um, just kind of do different things. You know, I'm trying to learn Spanish. You know, uh, just just different things. Just just th different things to stay busy, you know. Try not to think about you in your room, um, isolated. It's kind of like being in, a, in your bedroom all day. How's your Spanish coming along? Poquito. Yeah. You know, it's coming. It's, I learned a little bit, man. Poquito, habla español, man. So uh, yes, you know, it's coming together. AJ, do you have a question? Sure, thank you. Hey, Hassan, thanks for doing for doing this. Um, quick question for you. With the return of Nurk and Zach, not just as far as playing time, but what do you feel like the, um, the chemistry has been like between the three of you when you're on the court together, or whether it's just Collins or Nurk? How quickly do you feel like those guys have gotten back in, in the flow of being on the, on the court with it? With, the entire um, I had a little time with Zach, so uh, my chemistry with Zach a little better. You know, um, this is my first time ever playing with Nurk, but uh, I think it's coming along. You know, um, I had a couple. I had did training camp with Zach before he got injured, and like I think like two or three games. So, uh, but it's going great. I think it's I think it's coming along real well. You know, the way the um, the Blazers play, uh, two bigs, two bigs, it, it, it's it's easy. It's not it's not it's not a thing of, of space and or anything. Um, both of us could shoot the ball if we need to, but uh, with Dame and CJ and um, them guys, them guys running around, running flow, running different actions, I think yeah, I think it's great. Thank you. Hey, Hassan, this is uh, Royce Young from ESPN. Um, I want to ask you, we've seen some players today, it's come out that they've kind of inadvertently broken the bubble with some kind of minor infractions, but – I just wanted to ask, like, how aware are you guys of even those things that you may not even think of, having a Postmates driver show up and bring you something? Um, how, how conscious are you all of those things on a night, you know, day in and day out basis? No, I know um, it, it's tough, you know, it's tough, especially when you're a bigger guy. You know, like me, I'm, I got to find a, I got to eat a lot of food. <laughs> it's just, 
just to kind of stay, I heard a couple guys talking about um, the food and stuff, you know, but uh, for, for the bigger guys, you got to make sure you eat and um, just, just, just try to stay, just try to stay, maintain that, maintain eating. And, um, you know, guys, guys made a mistake. Like the postmates, um, you learn. I think, I think it's going to be more mistakes made as it get, as we go on, but um, guys are learning and uh, knowing what you can and can't do. This is new to everybody. So, um, it's a learning lesson, you know. Um, now, now, now I know. Now we all know. <laughs> Stay yeah. with those mates. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Thanks. Yeah. Hassan, this is uh, Sean Hiking from uh, Bleacher Report. Uh, I guess following up on Royce's question, you know, given, you know, we've had a couple of guys break the protocol, and there also was news today that there were two guys that tested positive, right? Like right when they got there, but you know, before they cleared quarantine, but uh, how are you, how confident are you at this point in terms of like how the bubble is going to hold going forward and how, you know, what the protocols are that the league has in place? I mean, uh, we get tested every day, you know, um, I think I'm on test 21, 22 or something like that, you know, uh, so we get tested every day. And um, I think, I think they're doing a great job of just, just keeping it, um, keeping it contained. But um, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I don't know how it's gonna work out. You know, only time will tell that. Okay, Casey, we'll have our last question. Casey, hold on here again, Hassan. Uh, I guess uh, also in general, we haven't really got a chance to ask you, how has been returning to practice been for you? Uh, I, I know you guys have been going through solo workouts for a while now, but actually getting back into the gym with the team and actually having contact and running up and down, what, what's that been like for you? Uh, man, you know, it's always going to be a challenge. You know, you can run on a treadmill and lift weights all you want, but um, basketball shape different, you know? So I think after the first practice, a lot of guys were just sore, you know, um, I think that's a different thing. It's just being sore and uh, just just getting over that hump, just getting your body back to used to, you know, pushing guys and um, wrestling guys for rebounds or coming off pick and rolls and just different things running up and down. You know, you can't you can't substitute that at your house. You know, you can try to try to stay the best shape as you can, but um, you know, it's not like the real thing. I imagine for a big man like yourself, it's maybe even doubly so, considering that you are sustaining contact consider all, all the time yeah yeah for sure I mean um pushing Nurk around is not is not an easy feat you know he got four, 30 40 pounds on everybody so you're not know, gonna push him around and um Zach and uh just pushing them wrestling with them guys those are great sparring guys so you know uh it's really good